Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this video, we will learn about how to create charts on a form. Okay, so uh, let's move to Excel window where we have created a demo for that, and then we will you know uh, prepare this uh, all these uh, charts and you know, form from scratch. So uh, this is basically the Excel file which we have you know created three different uh, charts. That is one is column chart and the line chart and area chart and all the charts are based on uh, the data set which is which are available here right from uh, range a1 to b13 okay so this is our chart and uh, you know visual basic the uh, uh, you know there is no feature where you can create a form uh, create a charts a chart on uh, uh, ex, uh, like visual basic form so to do this uh, we have created you know uh, the charts on uh, you know uh, Excel sheet and then we will uh, display all the charts based on selection right so let's click on the show on form basically it will load a form so here you can see that you know the same chart the default chart which we are utilizing here is a column chart the same chart we have uploaded here now and uh, here uh, I have provided three I uh, know different option buttons so that user can select uh, which chart basically he or uh, she is uh, want to looking for right uh, so let's click on line chart. So now you can see that yeah, the, uh, the the line chart which is available here, it it started showing in this particular uh, like form right. And this is the area chart. So the same chart is started reflecting over here. So this is all about you know uh, so showing the charts on a form and it's very useful because some sometimes we you know uh, do a uh, like automations and prepare some tools uh, where we just want to. Uh, show the report, but due to you know, uh, we can't create uh, uh, like we do not have any chart controls available in you know uh, Visual Basic application. Then we somehow we need to rely only on the Excel spreadsheet rather than showing the charts in uh, charts or reports on you know form. So this is a very good trick where you can uh, you know upload the existing charts on your form basis on user selection and you can make it on uh, after putting a lot of uh, like some efforts you can make it dynamic so as of now we will be focusing on uh, you know uh, showing the charts on a uh, on a like uh, excel form basically a visual basic form yeah. okay and this is the close button where you can close and it will disappear so uh, let's uh, create this you know uh, form from scratch to do this just uh, press control n right and you know uh, just uh, save as uh, this uh, like uh, this displaying chart on a uh, user form okay one right because we have already you know uh, given the name so we have already opened and uh, make sure you save this workbook as a excel macro enable workbook right so just save it now uh, rename this chart uh, like uh, a spreadsheet to make it charts right and you know just double click to expand this now give the header as month and so i just quickly uh, i will speed up uh, you know on the contents where i am creating uh, the data as well as the charts and then we will you know uh, learn how to uh, create uh, like how to make it uh, available on your form right Okay, so uh, we have created uh, the data and you know on the column chart, uh, the line chart as well as the area chart, and also we uh, created you know a uh, button where like show form so that we can uh, we will assign the uh, you know, visual basic code over here like we will call the form to show the charts basically right. So let's uh, change the name of all these charts. So let's uh, make it uh, you know just select this chart and you know uh, this is name box which is available uh, you know uh, left side of you know the formula bar so make it column chart with column 
chart right and then again uh, select uh, the line chart and then it's a line chart right and just select the area chart and make it a area chart so we will be uh, utilizing all these names in our macro right visual basic code by developing the form okay so this is done let's save it and you know just go to developer uh, tab then visual basic application and you can see that you know uh, here uh, like this is our uh, the previous form uh, like uh, but we need to create this list let it uh, hide and you know just uh, go to insert tab you know and you know insert a menu and user form okay and give the name as you know um, frm chart basically so let's uh, change the name as frm charts right some back color uh, change the back color to white okay and uh, you know the increase the size uh, here uh, just give the caption charts basically chart right and uh, change the height and weight so weight should be uh, 472.472.5 uh, okay and uh, height should be 333 so let's change the height as well okay so this is all about the form uh, let's insert a image control and that's available in your uh, toolbox and just click on image and just draw the image control over here okay let it be here. great now uh, rename this image control by img chart basically img chart right and uh, just uh, give the back uh, like change the back color to white again and height should be 240 basically so let's change the height so i just want to make it you know uh, replicate the same uh, chart uh, same uh, chart uh, form basically we prepared in the previous one right and that's why i am following the same uh, you know uh, push, uh, properties and which should be you know 438 so that should remain as it is so let's uh, change one more property properties over here so picture uh, size mode so picture size mode mode should be you know uh, zoom basically pick uh, the third one right now it's done let's uh, remove the border from here uh, the image control so go and you know border style basically okay so border style is uh, no okay now let's uh, you know uh, insert three option button to uh, to select the charts basically make it you know make it copy and again paste right and one more copy and again paste it so we have three controls one is for you know column chart line chart and area chart so let's uh, change the name opt opt column and uh, just to rename the caps on column chart right and make it a little bit smaller okay this should be opt line opt option button line right and caption should be line chart line chart okay and this make it a small little bit small now change this uh, the third one the opt area that is the last one right and change the caption from uh, like area area chart uh, make it a smaller okay so now we have created three different uh, option buttons over here let's insert a uh, button command button close basically uh, then let me make it a little bit bigger and let's align it okay just uh, change the name as uh, cmd and you know close and just give the caption as close okay so our form is basically ready now we need to write down the code okay so let's insert uh, a module over here and just go to the module double clicking on it and you will see the code window over here on the right side okay and let's uh, start the coding basically uh, so first of all we will you know write uh, write down a sub procedure sub routine basically uh, to uh, change the chart type, uh, chart okay so let's give the name as change sub uh, change chart and uh, you know we will pass the parameters where is the chart uh, name 
add a string right just to make it more room here and now let's declare a variable so uh, the variable should be you know current chart as and the type will be chart right and let's uh, declare a variable like holding the file name basically the path to file name as string right and now let's assign the path of uh, like a path in the file name the f name variable so let's see the and the path name should be you know this work book dot path okay so wherever the this workbook will, uh, will be available right uh, th uh, this uh, macro will pick you know pick the uh, the path of the, that workbook like this workbook right and this uh, ampersand and you know and just give the name as temp dot gif okay now set the chart uh, so uh, so current chart basically so we need to set current chart should be you know is equal to this this workbook dot sheets and you know and the sheet name like entire charts is available in you know, sheet one that the name is charts basically so let's give the name as charts and okay and then chart objects and as we will be utilizing the this uh, you know this variable the chart name so just give the name chart name and dot chart so now we uh, like we uh, assign uh, the selected chart which uh, whichever the whichever chart we user will select it will get assigned to current chart right now uh, let's enter and you know now we need to you know uh, export this chart export this chart as a gif image okay so the file name should be file name should be f name because we have already you know declared the file name over here right and you know filter name filter name should be you know gif gif okay so this is all about uh, the coding and you know uh, now uh, just uh, write down the code to upload the chart basically uh, the save chart on the image control which we uh, the, the image control is available in this form on this right so just go here then you know f frm sorry frm charts dot you know img and the chart dot you know uh, picture is is equal to uh, load yeah it's picture and uh, basically load picture is a uh, function to uh, assign the uh, uh, image to a uh, image control basically right so we, here we will uh, provide the path name so f name is our uh, f name is the file name of that okay so now it's done so this is all about you know uh, the sub uh, subroutine to change uh, the image uh, basis on the selection on uh, like form frm charts form right so let's write one uh, one more subroutines to call you know uh, to uh, show the form basically to uh, so let's sub load give the name as load and form okay and the frm charts dot show okay this that now go to the form control and you know double click on uh, column chart and just call the the sub uh, subroutine uh, which is a uh, change chart and uh, just give the name as column chart basically we just want to because see user will click on uh, option button right column option button then uh, image control will show the column chart right same goes for just uh, you know go to form control again and double click on line chart and just uh, call the function like the subroutine change chart and now pass the argument as you know line chart because on this uh, you know, option uh, button we just want to showcase the line chart right this is all about line chart now again go to the form control and now double click on you know area chart okay so call and the change chart is our you know subroutine and the pass area chart okay now it's done so we have successfully you know write down uh, written down all the codes on option button let's go to form control again and just click double click on close and just write down the code 
uh, to uh, unload the form basically to close the form basically unload me right so this is all about uh, the code and you know the module so i will uh, upload uh, no i will provide the link of this file in your in the description box so that you can download it and practice it okay so let's uh, move to excel and see whether our this tool is working so let's assign basically the macro over here assign macro and you know uh, we created a, a load form basically here a procedure this workbook okay load form okay now we have successfully assigned uh, the macro on this uh, this uh, this button right just click on it now you can see that uh, currently it's showing blank but whenever you sele uh, select any of the uh, you know uh, option button then it will start uh, showing the chart so let's close this and again uh, go to visual basic application and just uh, write down uh, some code uh, on initialize basically so just go to user form and initialize delete it and now on initialize we just want to keep as you know the uh, column chart as a default chart so let's uh, opt see column dot value is equal to zero so we are just making you know the column chart as a default chart so that uh, whenever user will click on a show form then uh, column chart will start uh, you know displaying uh, by default right and then user will be able to change the change the chart basis on selection so let's go uh, uh, go to you know microsoft excel again and now click on show form now you can see that a column chart is selected and it's so by default this form is showing the column charts so let's click on line chart and area chart okay so this is all about you know uh, the creating the charts and you know and uh, uh, displaying on a uh, form so uh, it's very useful you can use this in your automation whenever you know you are doing some complex automation or you just want to know show the reports basically on uh, your form as well rather than excel sheet so hope you enjoyed this video uh, thank you for watching please like share subscribe and comment have a good day